Today we're making primitive pottery. This video will show all the steps involved, not in the greatest detail, but to show the overall process of making primitive pottery. The same process can be used anywhere in the world. To start with, you need to find some clay. Now clay is found everywhere in the world, so wherever you're at, there is clay near you. The difficulty is sometimes locating it or identifying clay when you see it. Here in the desert where I live, clay is usually hard and dry and it's recognized by its crackled texture. So it looks kind of like the bottom of a mud puddle, that crackled mud texture. If you live in a more humid climate, then clay may be already wet and you can recognize it by its texture. I started to question before I got here. I was like, well, you didn't go far enough out on the playa. It's a kind of greenish colored clay right there. It's got about it's got about 10 to 12 inches of this just dirt kind of sandy. It's clay, you can tell. It's a little sticky, but it's got a lot of grit in it. And then you get down about a foot, you've got this pure green clay. Once you find clay, you need to add about 20% sand. Adding sand will keep your clay from turning into that clay in the bottom of the mud puddle that crackled up. It allows it to dry evenly and therefore not break. 20% sand is easy to measure out. That's one fifth. So you can do a one to four ratio. So if you have any sort of a measurement, one measure of sand and then four of the same measures of clay and mix it up that way. Or you can just eyeball it. Making pottery is not, after all, rocket science. Once you have your clay ready to go, you just pat out a thin pancake of clay, much like you would pat out a tortilla. Keep it about a quarter inch thick. I press it down into the bottom of a pookie so that I have a nice rounded form at the base of my vessel. Now, if you don't care if the bottom of your vessel is round, you can make it on any flat surface. Just make sure whatever it is that your clay doesn't get stuck on there. You might want to put a piece of cloth or paper under it so that you can get it up. Once you have your base formed, you can start rolling out coils of clay and attaching them. Attach your coil by pinching. Once the coil is attached, you use a scraper to smooth and shape from the inside, as well as to obliterate any bumps or lines where the coil was attached. Here I'm using a gourd scraper, but you can make scrapers out of all sorts of things. Bark, wood, shell, coconut, plastic, and metal work as well for scrapers. Continue to add coils 
and then scrape and smooth and pinch up as you go. Eventually you'll get to the rim where you want to stop making your vessel. You may want to trim off the high points. You can use a knife to trim it down or you can just pinch it off with your fingers. Once you get it fairly level, shape it. With get it wet. Fingers. Get the clay wet at the rim and just smooth the wet clay until you have a nice, even, smooth, consistent rim. Now once your vessel is finished, you need to let it dry. You might want to let it dry for a week or two, depending on how humid your climate is. Your vessel needs to be fully dry before you decide to fire it, or it may explode. To fire your vessel, here I am stacking it over hot coals. Because this is a decorated vessel, I have it setting on rocks. Any place your pot comes in contact with fuel, it could leave what we call fire clouds or blemishes on the pottery. So if it's painted or decorated, you may want to protect it with cover shirts. These are just broken pieces of pottery that I place around the pot to keep the fuel from coming in contact with it. So the pot is sitting on rocks over hot coals, cover shirt stacked around the pot. This allows the air to circulate freely around the pot as it's being fired, so the fuel doesn't fall in and smother it. Then I just stack the fuel around the pot. A nice heavy layer of fuel and then light it off. Just let the fire burn to coals and then pull the cover shirts off and see what you've got. It's really that simple. Find some clay, add sand, form the pot using coils, allow it to dry thoroughly, stack it outdoors with fuel around it and set it on fire. I'm sure you have questions. Please leave them in the comment section and I will respond to all of them. If you like this subject, I have other videos that are more detailed on steps of this process, for example, firing or coiling. So check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel. You might enjoy this video right here, which is about making pottery. 